We're out here at the ancient Roman theater out here in Bulgaria. This thing's in way better shape than the stuff that we saw in Greece. I mean, it is in great shape. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own knees. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. Hey, you guys! Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. And we're here at an ancient Roman theater. And this thing is amazing. Yep, yep. If you're new to the channel, this is April, and I'm Wayne. We do a video every Thursday, so hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. So sit back, relax, and, and enjoy, enjoy the journey. journey. It's a beautiful world out there. It can be a bit frightening. It's something you don't know. Don't pass on the dead If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there We highly recommend Green Motion Car and Van Rental. They're just off the Sofia Airport. I've been to lots of different car rental agencies around the world and I can tell you what, it's very rare that I feel like I got great customer service. They were very friendly, even giving us some local tips, a few places to check out on our road trip. But I think most importantly to us is that we did not feel gouged. And ripped off. So that speaks volumes. Yeah, they took great care of us. They didn't try to rip us off because we were Americans showing up. Uh, they gave us fair prices and a great car and great customer service. I highly recommend them. Even though this is not a paid sponsorship, I just wanted to uh, give them a shout out. Yes, definitely. We will be using Green Motion again. Absolutely. We're out here in the old town of Plovdiv. It's early in the morning. And it's chilly. It is damp and very cold. Kind of neat walking around this old town with nobody around, huh? Yeah. Now if we can do is just find some breakfast. Find yourself a friend. Yes. What you doing, big boy? What you doing? You're a big happy boy. Yes, you are. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. You just want some love. What you got, April? I don't actually know. We got some. Uh, a couple pastries. A couple pastries and a double. Baby coffee? <laughs> Definitely not my drip coffee. It's 9.50 in Bulgarian Lev, which is the equivalent of almost six dollars. Mm. This is good. Yeah? Is it just chocolatey? Well, you know I don't like a ton of chocolate. It's like just a hint of it. Yeah. So it's just got a little bit of baby chocolate in it? Yeah. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. Oh, it's a beautiful world out there. And just don't pass on the dare. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. We thought it was so refreshing to see the local kids playing 
what, cup and ball? Yeah, it's an, it's an old uh, wooden toy called cup and ball. But it was so refreshing, uh, as yeah. opposed to having their faces and their cell phones. Actually, they, you didn't see any kids with cell phones. They were out there riding their bicycles, riding skateboards. They were just out doing what I did when I was a kid. Which to some here in the States would probably think it a more primitive or old basic toy. Oh, they seemed wow. like they were having a ball. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. Right. You're good. I was sharing with you what it said, that it, the street lights of this district are dedicated to like maternity wards of various hospitals. So it's to, you know, dedicated to the children and life. Oh, that's nice. Mucho gracias. What do you think? Is it me? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> this one, if you like. I think the pink. Yeah? <laughs> Let me try this one because it's okay. Current foundation somehow with your hair. Oh, yeah, it's like this. It's like Mickey Mouse ears. Mm -hmm. But better. I like it. What do you think? I think that's you. Yeah. Yeah. It suits with the hair. Hey, beanie hair. Look, we found an umbrella alley. Yep. It's a Bulgarian. Umbrella Alley. Yeah, we we tried to find the one in Bucharest, but couldn't find it. You were sick as a dog, and oh, yeah. we were exhausted. And, and the GPS keep leading us astray. I finally gave up. Yeah, I was proud of you. What for giving up? For no knowing when to say when. You weren't feeling well. We needed to go back and rest, and I was proud of you for knowing when to say when. <coughs> Because you're a pusher. I'm pushy. You usually go, 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 go. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up. And I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. I'm going to ride. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Cause I know what it's like to be broke. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. We're out here at the ancient Roman theater out here in Bulgaria. This thing's in way better shape than the stuff that we saw in Greece. I mean, it is in great shape. I feel like I should be singing or some like opera or Romeo and Juliet or something like that. Or having a lion come at me. Me, 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 me. Yeah, no, no, no. Sing for us, April. What? Put on a show. April the Rockettes in the ancient theater. <laughs> I want to thank the theater for letting us fly the, get special permission to fly the drone. You're not allowed to fly it here, but I did get special permission to go ahead and take this drone footage. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up. 
And I won't stop, I won't slow down Standing on my feet, I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop, it is my time To get inside the ancient Roman theater It was cool though Yeah, it was cool Like, really cool It lived up to the expectations I had for it I liked it. I thought it was really neat. So it cost so. for two people. It cost ten lev, which is the equivalent of about six dollars U.S. The old town in Plovdiv is an architectural and historical reserve located on three of Plovdiv's hills. The complex has been formed as a result of the long sequence of habitation from prehistoric times to present day, which I thought was interesting, and combines the culture and architecture from antiquity, Middle Ages, and Bulgarian revival. It's on the UNESCO World Heritage tentative list since 2004. The earliest settlements on one of the hills of Plovdiv date back to 4000 BC. So what we got, we've got a booking.com, this little uh, cute little place. Let's see April actually climb the stairs here. Oh my. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How much do we pay for the booking.com tonight? 32. 32 US. And what city are we in? Plovdiv. Plovdiv, Bulgaria. This is our cute little booking.com. Let me see what the bathroom looks like real quick. Oh. So. Uh, what bathroom? Oh, I like the wood. Okay, we're gonna butcher this one for sure. We're at Dainanya. It's pretty close to the old town. And I'll show you the menu. We're gonna get some traditional Bulgarian food. We've got Bulgarian beer. And April got a house one. That's her hand. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to try the traditional salad, which is tabbouleh and something else. That's the name of it. It's like a quinoa salad. Yeah, quinoa. Kind of tomatoey. Better with the lemon. Yeah, the lemon makes it much better. It's got like, I think, parsley in it, some onions, lots of tomato, definitely quinoa. And the lemon does make it more flavorful. Mm. Nice oh man. You can taste the wood. You can taste the ingredients. Yes. You can taste the flour and the yes. yeast in the I don't know why bread in America is no good. Even when you go to the expensive bread stores in Europe the bread is better everywhere. And cheaper. <laughs> that is a big meat stick. Right then. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a traditional meat stick. Yeah. And it's uh, veal, pork, veal, pork, chicken. chicken. Nice. Look, traditional meat stick. This is supposed to be for one person. There's meat no sword. Meat sword. There's no way we could eat this. I like your meat sword. <laughs> you can definitely tell they're cooking over wood. Not charcoal. Not gas. Uh, that meat is super tender. It's not uh, not heavily salted. Mm. What do you think of the mushroom? I like the mushroom. Oh. You can really taste the the wood Earthiness. flavor. Yeah. Mm. 
Here's the carrot. Or the carrot. Okay. I kind of wish I knew what each meat was. I know. It's just a guess. Like you go to a Brazilian barbecue, and we just got the whole sword. <laughs> like literally a whole sword of meat. She'd like to know what a traditional dessert is. Uh, creme caramel, the foam, and the foam cake. What is that like? What is it? Having it or taste like? It's good. It's good? <laughs> it's good. I will try it then. <laughs> just one, please. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to me and it. As you can see, our waiter is a uh, very limited English. But he does understand. He does better than we do with our, Bul our Bulgarian. We've been pretty bad with our languages this time. Yeah. Like, Wait, this time? Like every time. <clears throat> I felt like I was a little bit better prepared for a trip in March. The one in Mexico? No, in March. Oh, in March. Yeah, when yeah. we were in uh, Bosnia. That's great. Oh, oh wow. thank you. Thank you. Check this out. Check it out. It looks like it's got wafers in it. Your mom has wafers in it. You wish. I'm not sure what to describe that like. It's almost like a pudding cake. With a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of vanilla, and a little bit of nutty. It's not it's not super sweet. I don't even know what to describe this as. I think I described it pretty well. It's kind of like a pudding cake. And it has some nutty undertones with some vanilla and some chocolate. And these are, I think, the raisins on top. I actually really like them, though. It's got a weird texture to it, though. It's fun. It's different, yeah. It's wet, but it's dry. Mm -hmm. Almost <clears throat> has a cheesecake texture, but not cheesecake. Yeah. Definitely more cake. Like. I actually really like it, though. We should become food critics with how well we can describe food. Yeah, probably not. I don't usually eat this much dessert. I think that's one of my favorite desserts I've ever had in a different country. Excellent. Have you ever had like a pudding cake? I don't think I've ever had a pudding cake. I don't, even, I don't think I've ever even heard of a pudding cake. I really do like this stuff. Um, I can tell. I, you never see me doing this. Yeah, no way. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. All right, one more bite and I'm done. Wow. That's the best dessert. Yeah, that's the best dessert I've had in a different country, for sure. And, and if you're new to the channel, I don't eat a lot of sugar. I have a bite of chocolate or a bite of that. I don't Ice sit cream. there. Yeah, I don't sit there and eat the whole thing. And since you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We just got back from eating dinner. We had a traditional meat sword. <laughs> <laughs> which had uh, veal, chicken, pork, it was a whole lot of meat. Uh, had some traditional beer, April had a uh, house wine, and we also had dessert, some bread, and I think that was it, right? Oh, and the salad. You picked out the dessert. Yeah, the, the dessert was really good. Uh, total was 65 Bulgarian Lev, which comes out to about $32 and change uh, USD. So, amazing meal for very little money. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank, thank you, you for living life. La la la. Now why weren't you singing like that when we were in the amphitheater? I didn't know what to sing. I was put on the spot. Uh, just dancing, huh? I 
gave a little ooh at the end. That sounds like a ghost. No, oh, it's giving you some opera. Oh. <laughs> if you say so. Kind of. Let's hear your opera. Figaro, 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 Figaro. I think that's opera. I don't know. <laughs> I remember it on Bugs Bunny. 